What's going on, you guys? Grubhub's coming at you live. Um, I've had a lot of questions recently when I'm playing labs with new people. Like, hey, where, where does certain loot spawn? Where do players spawn? Um, what key cards are the best? What keys should I get first? Well, in this video, we're going to try to go through most of them real quick and show you guys what's going on. All right, so this spawn's not that bad. It's kind of underneath the main area. So once you come up first, you have this table right here. You can SGC 10 right there, and then you can get an Intel folder right there as well. Right here is Streamer Cage. And you come in here, sometimes there's a fire steel or a fire clan in here. You can get thermite, fuel, all kinds of stuff. And you also have a little toolbox in here if you would like to loot that as well. So moving back this way, we have weapon testing right here. Um, 10 out of 10 would recommend this key. This key and manager's key are the cheapest keys on this map. And they provide so much loot every time you go through. So like for a 75k key, you can come in here. Let's see what kind of ammo these have in them. Okay. So 995 right there. So that's almost already your entire key paid off alone. And then you got the mag. It's full 995. Let's see what's in this one as well. So we got full M80. That's not bad. That pays for your key though itself. And then right here you have an Intel spawn. It spawns right there between the corners. And you also have one, two, three, four computers you could loot. So now we're gonna go up to manager's office. This room is very great, very good. Um, it's like a 75k key. Definitely recommend picking it up. There's an Intel spawn right here and like a green key card spawn right here. Definitely worth getting. Uh, there's an Intel spawn as well right here. And there's a yellow key card spawn as well. So going into managers, you can get all kinds of things. You can get rollers. You can get Veritas picks. You can get gold uh, skulls. Like we were just saying, there's a gold skull right there. Um, you can get lions, cats, anything really right there. And then a lot of stuff spawns there as well. You can even get bitcoins from there. Uh, there's an intel spawn right here on the desk. And then right here you can have a safe and a computer. This room and weapon testing, if you're going to be playing labs frequently, you have to have those keys. Honestly, they're great money makers. And you'll easily 10x those keys. Um, so going over to this little med corner here, we got two computers right here in the front, and then there's a defib spawn right there. Oh, and look at that. There's a black key card spawner right here as well, which I didn't know. I didn't even know that was a spawn right there for that. But um, there's a VPX spawn right there, and then an Intel spawn right there. Um, also, check these little crates right here as well when you're coming by. Uh, they can spawn graphics cards, Tetrises, um, all kinds of things, all kind of uh, high-tech stuff. Um, right here as well, we have another Intel spawn right here on the desk. And then right here in this corner, you can get like Golden Star, Grizzlies, uh, another Defib spawns there as well. So heading over here, this table right here in front of Dome, there's a black key card spawn right there. And then there's an RFIDR reader spawn right here on top of the computer as well. Heading in a dome, we have a Ledic spawn right there. This is the most frequent spawn that I've found. I've never found any of them in this room in another spot. Um, but when you're coming in here, just jump on top of these barrels, do a quick check right there. If it's not there, I'd get out of this area. Uh, dome tends to be a very hot area, this entire area. Um, there's a lot of players that like to spawn over there near green. And then we got a spawn literally like right back here as well. So everyone comes to run into this area. I try to get all the high tier loot right in the beginning. All right, so heading into med room, um, you can get like a SJ6s, ETGs right here along the table. There's also a spawn as well right there. You can see there's an ophthalmoscope. Um, you got some spawns right here on this desk and here as well. Nothing crazy, but there is a defib spawn in there that you would see on the table. Um, we're going to start up here with green key card first. Green key card is probably one of the harder ones to get, seeing how you have to trade for it most of the time. Unless you're lucky enough to find it. So we're going to come in here and we right off the bat, we have some spawns right here on the table as well. There, I usually find a couple SJ6s. You have some spawns here on the shelf for stems. Uh, there's two Intel spawns in here. There's one right here, as you can see. And they come in here, there's some loose uh, stems on the shelves. And then you got a weapon area right here that usually spawns like weapon parts and decent stuff like a TX-15. You got a box here as well. Um, you come out here, and then to the left, you got some stem spawns right there, and then a defib spawn right there, if, I, if I'm not wrong. And then you have another defib spawn right here as well. 
Let's see. You can get some loose stems there as well. So right here, uh, another little area that you don't want to miss when you're walking. It's real easy to miss. There's like ETGs that spawn there as well. The Ledic spawn is right here in this tin. We've got some loose spawns right here. Right here. And the other intel spawn happens to be right here as well. And then you got some stems right here on the side. There's a black key card spawn here as well that spawns right there to the left of the keyboard. So make sure you look out for that. I actually found like three of them last wipe. Uh, we got a grizzly right here, right here, and then let's see what else. Another loose stuff right here from medical eye uh, gear. Um, this room, uh, it's not necessary to run labs. Is it nice to pull money out of it? Yes. But it's not that big of a deal, especially if you're going to play with people most of the time. Someone's going to have that card. But if you run labs enough from the spawns that I showed you guys already, you'll find one. So right now we're heading into black key card. And... If I were to put this on a list, I would say this is one of the top three keys that you would want to get because there's so many stems in here, but it's such a hit and miss room. So right here off the top, we've got a stem spawn right here on the chair. We've got a stem spawns right here um, on that chair as well right here. And you can find them like next to this cord that goes around. Uh, stem spawn here quite frequently. But like, as like I said, it's a kind of a hit and miss room. Sometimes you'll either come in here with 20 stems or you just won't find anything at all. So hey, look, you got a spawn right here as well, and then you got a spawn here. So kind of just check the corners and the beds every time you do come in here. I've easily paid this card off. I wouldn't spend any more than three and a half mil on it, though, in my opinion. Um, so we're going to head down to blue key card now. Blue key card is probably the worst outside of yellow. Um, for the price that people charge for blue the last couple of wipes... They've been charging, um, I don't know, I think it's like 7 plus mil, like 17 mil actually, and I did, just, it's not worth it, this room never pays itself back. Um, but here in blue, there's really not much loot, which is why it's kind of bad. The only good thing is there's a Ledic spawn right there on the bottom of the cart, and you can see it without even having to open the room, you can come back through the glass area. But there's a spawn right here on the top for like a Vaseline or a Golden Star. And then sometimes you get some spawns right here on the bed. Um, and this little subsection of it, you can come in here, check the card as well. You got a med bag. I don't really think this room's ever worth looting if there's no lead eggs. Um, But the other good thing is there's a key card spawn right here. I think it's a blue key card that spawns right here on the table as well. So it's kind of nice. But if I were you guys definitely would stay away from blue it's also kind of high traffic for a lot of pvp in this little corridor right here so we're gonna head now over to server room i'm gonna show you guys another ledex spawn and there's also an rfidr spawn in this area as well and it's right inside these double doors by the chair so check these chairs every time you come in here this is server um, but check these chairs. They have the RFIDR spawn in here. And this is another player spawn up here. If you spawn on that stairwell back there and you run into here, you'll most likely run into people that are up here looting or coming down the stairwell, and you can get them right here in the middle. Um, but once you come in here, there's a moonshine spawn back here. And then sometimes you can get, like, mayo, uh, some other loose items for food. you got a weapon box in here. You have three computers. And I would always recommend to check this table as well. Um, this table can spawn decent gun parts sometimes. You can find voodoo scopes, nice suppressors like this NT4. I mean, it's not crazy, but it's like 30K. You know, everything counts when you come to labs. Um, right here is the other Ledex spawn. You would come in here and check this. And you can even loot this jacket right here. I've gotten a tape key out of this jacket before, so you never know what you're going to get. All right, so we're going to come down here. This is, uh, let's say, probably the ramp in the hangar. Uh, there's a player spawn right here. I'm going to come up this way. And this is hangar, so you can walk against the gate to find out if you can hit this if you're not really wanting to come up here and walk on the metal and then grab everybody's attention. If it lights up green on the top right, you'll know if you can hit it or not. But we cannot hit it right now. Sometimes I've never seen anybody else do it, but I've done it a couple of times. This is probably one of the nastiest spots you can sit on in this room. I think you have to have max strength to get up to it. Let's see. Yeah, but you can get on top of this if you have max strength. And then just watch over the entire room. So you just got to be careful. Make sure to check the top of these. 
Um, there's not really anything crazy about hangar other than you can get some defuel right here on the spools. Other than that, it's not really worth the stop in here and loot. Um, be careful, check your corners when coming in here. People like to sit in corners, dark corners, especially like on top of these trash bags because there's a lot of people that come through these doors. Um, some people call these quad doors. Um, it sits underneath freezer. This is freezer section right here. And then what I, me and my boys refer to as cafeteria is through that, where the serving area is. Um, go through this way, we're gonna head towards Skybridge. Which, this is another player spawn. Right down there by those double doors right there, that's a player spawn as well. Always want to watch out for that. So this is Skybridge. It's decent. It's really nice to be able to cross it and come over here towards red. Uh, be careful trying to PvP there. You can get shot from underneath. It's pretty easy to get killed. Um, over here, we are inside of near red. Uh, the shelf can spawn the weapon lab, uh, weapon testing key that's needed down there. You can get some stems, golden stars, all kinds of stuff from here. So we're going to go with violet first. Um, violet is an okay card. I wouldn't pay any more than four and a half at the most for it. You can get a VPX spawn right here, an SGC-10, or RFIDRs, which are right now at 250k. Um, you get some really decent gun parts though out of this room. That's the only thing that I like about this room, is that if you're coming in and you just want to hit up the rooms and try to make some money off weapon parts, you can easily do that by coming in here. You can make maybe close to 100k, it depends. But you just come in here, some of the loot's kind of glitch. Sometimes you can't grab it, so you have to like crouch up and then grab it while you're moving. Um, you also got a filing cabinet in here and two uh, big weapon boxes as well. And then sometimes you can find like a Bitcoin. It's really rare though. I've only seen one Bitcoin. You can get lions here, horses, cats, all off of that. So we're gonna come around this corner real quick. There is a Intel spawn right here and then a green key card spawn right there. So make sure you're looking out for that. I found a couple of them last wipe. I ended up finding three of them in the first 24 hours in that corner right there. So you need to be careful when coming in here though. Uh, a lot of people like to camp over there in what we call blue office. And it's a pretty good angle for them because you can't really see them without having to crouch and expose your head. So just be careful when you got people that come from down there as well. But you got a bunch of computers, you got some uh, loose ammo here on the desk, and you can get an MP7 right there as well. So going into red key card, uh, unless you're a labs chat who mains labs, you won't be watching this video in the first place. But, you know, you don't need to buy red. I'll, I'll get more into that here in a second. But you can get some ammo here. We got 7 and 39. Uh, more 7 and 39 right there is about, I don't know, what, 90k off, or no, 60k off ammo. And then we got a bunch of little suppressors over here. Um, that's not worth taking. I mean, if you're really cramping on money, pick them all up, check them for the ammo. Let's see. HP, it's kind of worthless, but the mag itself is like 25k. I mean, really, it's up to you. BP, it's about 500 a shot. I don't know about Warmageddon, but you get all kinds of stuff. Um, coming in here, this is the arsenal room of labs, which is right here. It's about 75k, but you need to have red to get into this room. And I don't necessarily know if I would spend that amount of money on this room again. Um, but as a top, they moved the loot from this shelf, all the streamer loot, to the very top shelf for some reason. But you can get rollers, you can get bitcoins, lions, pro kills, skulls, all kinds of things. The loot's decent in this room. It's consistent sometimes, but it's not anything to die for. The room itself not worth 38 mil. It's only that expensive because of how rare the card is to find. But out of, on a list, I would probably rate red mm, probably like a 6 out of 10, and violet's more like a 7.5 out of 10. It's not that bad. Uh, but coming into cat, the way to remember this is, you know, you got two big cat statues right here in the middle, obviously. Um, but around the table, you got like a VTX spawn and an Intel spawn and these spots. Just check next to the laptops when you're coming through. Look at that. VPX right there as well. It's like 180K the last time I checked. Um, you can also get an N4 that's laying up right here in these spots. So make sure you come in here and check those. And coming over here in a blue office, we have an Intel spawn and some more loose uh, computers that you could loot. So coming in here, you have an Intel spawn right here. And then another thing is you can get actually a pretty good angle in here. If you're getting pushed in here, I would jump on top of these and then jump up here and then just lean to the left. And once you come in, if you hear them walking on the wood, you pre-fire it. You pre-fire that, it's easy headshots. You're going to easily clap them. Um, if you have more of a high strength, if you have like a 
max strength, I think you can still get up here. Yeah, so right here is even better. So, like, look, they're going to come in. They're not going to look up. The first thing they're going to do is they're going to quick peek the right and then look left. Or look left and then look right. You know what I mean? And boom. This instant headshot. It's it's too easy. Or if you want to feel like a little bit right here, you can get them while they're out in the hallway. But they'll probably see you if you don't kill them. So, you know, just keep that in mind. But you got some computers down here. I mean, loot those if you need to. Some electronic loot during some beginning part, mid-wipe. Decent loot. Um, this jacket, I have found a kid keys in them, and I have found a tape key in this one. This is probably the best jacket that I know of on labs. I don't really see much people talk about it, though. Um, we're going to head over to yellow now. Yellow, it's just a simple key card. It's only to turn off the alarm for when you're turning or opening up that garage. You can find a little bit of weapon parts in here, but I've never found anything crazy. I mean, is it worth picking up to have an extra angle that you can go into? Absolutely. Got filing cabinets in there. Um... Some loose weapon parts as well. Let's see. You can't really get anything crazy. The switch in here, though, is right here on the computer. You turn that off, so when you go over there to parking and you hit the switch, that won't make any sound. The garage will obviously still be making the sound it has to to lift the gate, but it won't be announcing to the rest of the map that, hey, they opened up parking. But to see if somebody hit parking, all you have to do is double tap O, and it'll light up green. So keep that in mind. So we open the gates, look, immediately turns green right there. Um, and parking itself, there's nothing crazy. There's some loose weapon parts on the back of these cars. Um, right here, you got some weapon parts, but it's nothing insane. I checked this one. You got a weapon crate here as well. Um, that's basically it for this room. So we're going to go down to the basement and I'll show you some more of the player spawns. we got a player spawn right here in the stairwell. It's nothing crazy, but um, just be prepared that if you're going to go up that way, you can easily run into somebody that's straight across. Um, now we're here in the basement. A lot of these rooms don't really have designated names for them, at least that I don't know of. I'm main labs usually. Um, so coming over here, we have main elevator switch. It's right here. It's on the server panel here. You just flip that. If you listen for the callouts, uh, how she's talking, it's like the second or third to the last word. She says L. If you hear L, that means they're going for main elevator right here. Um, come over here. You just push it. You can wait. You have a toolbox right here. Sometimes you can find like Thermite, Salewa, CMS's up here as well. If you're ever needing food while you're on labs as well, don't ever forget to come over here and loot these weapon boxes. Anywhere around the map, these ones are guaranteed to have lunch boxes in them. Look at that. So... If you ever need anything, this would be the place. You got propane as well here. You can get fuel down here, thermite, uh, blocks of TNT, defuel. I mean, so just come down here, check this stuff out every once in a while. So heading down this way, once you flip that switch, you can get raiders that spawn usually right here. So come through this area, you would check. You got a weapon box and a duffel bag back here. Uh, you can find some defuel in here too. You can find it up here. You can find it on this generator, and you can find it on these blue stacks. Um, in here, there's nothing that spawns in here that I've noticed. Uh, you got a toolbox right here. We're gonna head towards boiler now. Get another little weapon box. You can get defuel right there. You can get defuel right here on top of this crate, on top of these blue barrels, and then you also have a little grenade box right here. It's kind of busted open. Doesn't look like anything spawned though. You got another little weapon crate here. And then this dark little corner, we also have another little big weapon box. Um, so this is what I refer to as metal long haul that leads up to dark, or the back of boiler. This room is unnecessarily dark. I don't understand why they th thought to not put any lights that work. Um, but here's dark hallway. You got uh, raiders that spawn in down there. They like to sit in dark corners. So just be careful. They will shoot you through that grate down there much easier than you can shoot them. So this is boiler. A lot of people like to camp down here that are kind of newer to labs or just aren't here for the PvP because there's two switches down here that can spawn raiders. This is boiler. You flip that. And then when she is talking, you can't hear her down here in the basement. But when she announces that to the rest of the map, it will end with the letter G. She'll say G. And when she says that, that means other people flipped boiler switch. Now, when people usually flip boiler switch, they're going to come over here to server drop down. So right here, there's a hole right here that leads from server. If you run on the left side right here consistently, if you're not overweight and land on this ladder, you won't break your legs when you fall in here. 
but here's server dropdown. And if you are fast enough, when they hit G, you can get to the top of server dropdown right here and watch it from here. As soon as they walk in, boom, dead. It's, it's super easy. But you got a toolbox right here as well. And this is the other long haul that leads to server dropdown is what we refer to. And right here is med block elevator. So if you're ever confused, you can always double tap O if you hear an elevator going and you'll obviously see it'll light up green. Press the desired floor, elevator, med block, parking gates all been hit. So we're going to head down this way. This hallway right here in particular is called connector hallway. You have a lot of people that like to come in here and sit at the windows with a scope and then just fire at the people who are coming down. Like they'll hit the elevator for bait, wait for people to come down and then shoot them through the windows. Um, or you also have this spot here that watches the other staircase. But there's a toolbox. There's some like thermite spawns on top. There's some fuel that spawns in here every once in a while. So I would definitely come in here and check this area out if you don't have any key cards. It's a little bit harder to make money on here. So I would definitely take the time and loot all the corners. Um, this is blue stairwell. This is the uh, stairwell that's the closest to blue key card, which we've already been to. So just refer to them as this one is blue stairwell right here. And that one down there is closest to green or black key card. So you would refer to that as green stairwell. And this is blue stairwell. Um, other than that, we've really hit everything. The only other thing I could think of is there's another player spawn right up here. There's a player spawn right here, so be careful if you come down. There's another spawn right there as well, outside those double doors. Some people like to come in and just bait the staircase because people walk out and then just die. So going up the stairwell, we also have another little bit of a loose loot in this area. So we got some like golden stars, SJ6s. Look at that, you got thermite and some pliers. Pliers are like 7K, it's not that crazy. But check this shelf when you come in here. You can get some propitals, you can get golden stars, especially here on the bottom on top of the shelf. Make sure to check them all. I found a lot of golden star over the last two wipes from these rooms. Looks like we got an AFAC here as well. Um, got some bathrooms back here. You gotta be careful. A lot of people like to come in here and just camp. They don't really know the map. You got some vodka in here. You got a couple jackets. You got that jacket in here. And then if you go in here and you got another area. So the best way to clear it is just, you know, throw a grenade back here, swing it right, left, right, and then left, you know. But you got some weapon parts in here. And then you also got a duffel bag. Um, these bathrooms don't spawn anything, but a lot of people like to camp in them. So if you come in here, you can throw a grenade underneath that stall. That's where I would hide or check this corner. But right here, nothing crazy. Um, another room that a lot of people don't know about is you, this one right here. It's another bathroom. It's just another it's identical to the other one. Just be careful coming into this area. These will probably be the rattier players. And they'll probably sit in there with like a GL or something because of trash. Um, but anyways, right here we have cargo elevator. This is a one-time use elevator. Once it leaves the map, it will not come back. Um... Coming back down this way, we're going to go back into this main area real quick. I want to show you two safe rooms that I know of real quick. So going into here, we also have two safe rooms. We have the off this I call this office that's close to green. You have a safe in here and a lot of computers. Like we got a skull and a diary. A bunch of computers underneath the desk. Just keep your eyes open for them. And there's a jacket over here that you can loot as well. Get cigarettes in there. And then right across, we have another office that we refer to as closer to yellow stairs, which is that staircase on the other side next to the yellow key card room. Got another jacket, a duffel bag, and there's a safe right here. Let's see, bunk key, nothing crazy. Um, another safe here to loot. Let's see what we get. So yeah, nothing crazy, but we definitely made our money back on this raid. Even if, I know it's an offline raid, but still, if you would have found this black key card, that pays for 3.5 mil. So check these computers if you need the loot. Um, we're going to go back this way. We're going to show you one last safe room. Here is the yellow staircase that I was referring to. It's closer to yellow room right there. And then over here, we have parking stairs. That's what I refer to as closer to the parking button. So right here we go. Just be careful if you ever need to. If there's raiders up here, you can always jump on this and then shoot through the ladder as much as you want and kill them. Bullets go right through, no problem. If you're using a smaller caliber, it might take a little bit more. Um, there's a spawn down here as well. The spawn's right there in that corner. Be careful because there's another spawn right down there on Skybridge. 
So now we're going to go into what we call dark. It's just dark as fuck for no reason. No need to. Come down here. Uh, there's a safe room right here. There's a jacket, a duffel bag, and there's filing cabinets, which is pretty good. But you got to be careful. I've started to notice last wipe that some people would sit right here in this corner. And it's really dark. And you're not going to... I mean, if you're new to labs, you're not going to see this spot. And you can just easily laser beam people from both sides. Well... That's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys for stopping by, and I will see you guys next time.